part two. God spurred her, but not her daughter. And he spared one of her sons. I don't know if she had two sons. I know she had three children and two of them passed and one of them, one son survived. Just like that. So that brings me to my last two stories that have been in the news this week. <clears throat> Merciful God. Just yesterday, and it's not about me, but there is a hero that I would like to thank. You know, I have these people, including my YouTube subscribers, that I'm supposed to be praying for this year. One of the people that I have on my list is a truck driver. Her YouTube name is Slime Pack. I've never met her. I came across her channel. She's a black lady who's a truck driver. And for some reason, I was impressed to add her to my prayer list this year. Something I've never done before. I don't have normally keep a list of people to pray for every time. Um, I pray for a whole year. And every time I think about people, certain people come to mind, I want to add them to my list. My list needs to get longer and longer because I feel like I need to be praying for some other people when they come to mind. But I was on my way across the river yesterday, but I decided to make a couple of stops. And I decided to go grab me a piece of fish. And guess what? It didn't taste as good as it did. So it's, it's, I know it's not meant for me to eat it. Um, I thought that the last one that I ate was gonna be my last one. And then God gave me a way of escape and showed me a video of Sister Chic Natural. Chic Natural. Um, creating a vegan version so there's no excuse I don't have any excuse not to succeed with my vegan journey you know God will replace things in your life make a long story short it's not about me eating while I was in this restaurant ordering this fish there were two men standing there inside trying to order also, and one man just out of nowhere said that there was a semi hanging off the bridge, the bridge that I was supposed to have been crossing. But they had gotten the driver out, and it's on YouTube. Miraculous story. There was a two car accident, and those two people, I believe, from the car accident are in critical condition, and the truck got involved some kind of way and was hanging looks like oh my goodness unbelievable video was hanging off the side of the bridge now the cab was not it was barely connected to the trailer and there was a black lady in that trailer cap in the cap part my god dangling from this bridge for 30 to 45 minutes can you imagine staring death in the face and if you have never had a damascus road experience read your bible paul or saul before he became Paul, was persecuting Christians and persecuting God's people. And after God had enough, Paul was on the Damascus Road and he blinded him. And he spoke to him and he said, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? I'm not saying that was this lady's experience. I'm just saying this lady was on her way she was on the road she was crossing over just like that she was staring 
death in the face. So Paul, he couldn't even stare death in the face. He was blinded for days. The Lord recovered his sight. But this lady, I would like to meet her. She, she was praying and praying and praying and praying. And I know, Lord have mercy. I When I heard the story, and the man said, I believe they rescued the driver, I said, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Not even knowing who the driver is. I said, what a way to die, to plunge to your death. Driving across, you know, I could have been in that accident when I thought about it afterward. That wasn't my initial thoughts, but I was going to go across that bridge. Listen, they show a firefighter. Bryce is his first name, and that whole department, I would like to thank them if I could. They, they deserve at the least a free year's worth of lunches, believe me. But just thinking about how your life can change just like that. I'm sure that lady prayed as hard. The man said that she was just praying. He said, I prayed with her. She was praying and praying. I would have peed and pooped on myself, I'm sure. Lord have mercy. I would have been asking God to have mercy as much as possible. I would have. I would have, Lord, what is it that you want me to do? My whole life would be, you talking about cold and hot, on fire. Me in church today, they need to have, like they have the baby rooms at church. They need to have a room for for shouters because honey i would be disturbing the whole service thanking the lord hallelujah but i'm gonna do it at home you understand what i'm saying but i was thankful but moving on to the last story this is so this world is so evil so wicked the enemy listen be not deceived be not deceived there was a young girl Soto in Florida, the Soto family. Her body was found yesterday, 11, 12, 13 years old. She just turned 13 years old. But you talk about the ultimate betrayal, Lord have mercy on her mother. I don't know if I can ask the Lord to have mercy on the, the boyfriend, but um, vengeance is the Lord's. Vengeance is the Lord's. This, my God, this mother could not attend her daughter's 13th birthday party, she said, because she had to work. This boyfriend that she had for several years was not only doing her, but was doing her daughter. If you can't be safe in your own home as a child, Lord, what an evil and wicked world we are living in. The mother, her life is over in my opinion. She has to live every single day of her life with the thoughts that she could not protect her own child in her own home. And the person that she loved probably deeply was her biggest enemy. The boyfriend sat on camera, cried tears, like he didn't know what happened to her. And he sat by the mother's side. Matter of fact, the mother stood up to console him and rub his shoulders. It's, oh my God, you talking about, oh, the ultimate betrayal, the ultimate betrayal, off with his head, but let him suffer. It's, if I was a ruler, that's what, oh God, I have to have mercy on me. He took that little girl, he had pictures on his phone. Oh my God. How long had he been doing this? That mother's life, Lord, mm, mm, mm. you talking about hell, living in hell. That's what this earth is, hell. But um, mm. he's, mm, my God. 
I'm gonna end this video.